Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to use uh, silicone molds uh, to do all kinds of uh, embellishments uh, for your mixed media projects. And I've started it with this uh, Stamperia uh, silicone mold and I've done, I have two of them but I wasn't <laughs> satisfied, I wasn't going to do a video because this is not really it's not super expensive but it's still expensive and I wasn't going to do a video until I found a solution for uh, doing it not expensively so I experimented and I found things that you can use uh, also to do the same thing of course it's not the same design as the Stamperia I can't <laughs> you can't compete with it but you can find many other things to do the same so we are going to start with the stamperia a silicone mold and this is a, what i've done with it and i will show you how to work with other stuff that like you can use all kinds of silicone trivet and i will show you examples how nice it looks and I even tried it with this kind of cookie molds. It's not even silicone. And I had a nice success, not as great with the, sil as with the silicone, but I will show you this also. Okay, so first of all, we are starting with this Stamperia silicone mold. And I'm going to use modeling paste. And well starting <laughs> the first thing you need to do is not skimp on the modeling paste and you need to work it first to get it in put some pressure so it will uh, get in it it has a thickness at least of a uh, two millimeters so you need to work it in and after i'm working it in i'm always uh, checking that I have more of the modeling paste I will show you in a minute it needs to have a really thick coat now it, it also uh, you need to also do this if you are using any kind of other silicone uh, like the trivets that I've showed you you need a thick layer now i've tried it also with my homemade modeling paste i will uh, share with you the recipe in a minute it works fine it doesn't have to be a store-bought modeling paste so that's another uh, plus for this kind of uh, thing and what i am trying to do is not only push it inside all this detail I'm also now going to go in all directions it helps put everything inside and so you won't have bubbles and other stuff that is missing now as you can see I've covered everything now you can also Flip it over and check that you don't have missing uh, areas. And now I'm taking more of the modeling paste and doing more layering almost so I won't see the design. It really is important because then it it's nicer when you are going to take it off. If you skimp on the modeling paste, then sometimes when you're a uh, when you want to take it out of the mold it will just break and that's just a shame so no skimping covering with a nice layer like so and it's not really even but i it would be in a minute another trick to go about it and the way i'm going here it's the same thing i've done with the silicone trivets and with the cookie whatever <laughs> a texture thingy <laughs> so it's the same way to work okay 
So I really got a nice coverage. The only thing now is to take either a deli paper or tissue paper and just place it on top like so. And now with my finger, I'm just, with my hand, I'm just pushing it a little bit, not too much pressure. I don't want everything to go outside, but just like this. Now, another uh, thing is, I've seen it in a video, I'm not sure where, um, is that it's good to take some white glue and go over it i've tried it and it works so and i will try and find that video so i can give credit to <laughs> whoever was that uh, done it and just go over now i will the really 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 important thing to do give it at least 24 hours don't skimp on it also 24 hours so it will settle less than 24 hours and some of it will still be wet on the inside and will give you again problems with taking it out okay so this is covered and it needs to wait for 24 hours moving this aside I've got one here that is waiting for me more than 24 hours and now I'm just going to fill it like so. This is the other mold I have from Stamperia. Here it is. Everything got out nicely. So, the what I really like with this technique uh, of course the design but the thing is that you it's it can bend so if I want to uh, put it on something that has a curve I can and also like I've done when I have done this I took as you can see here is the dragonfly I've cut it and put it here and I've cut other uh, and I've cut this area and put it here so I've managed to use both of them and just cut the areas that I liked and of course it doesn't have to be like this if I want only this area I can cut only this area so here are the two uh, that I have from the silicone molds by Stamperia and now I want to show you I have like this trivets i have more but i just want to show you how it turned out here is the beehive pattern that i've done and i'm planning of doing a on the next video something with this i've done it the same way that i've done the stamperia so it works on this silicon uh, trivet and let's see if oh and another one Another way to go about it, if you don't want uh, to do it with a modeling paste, you can also do it with a glue gun. It's a little bit more difficult, but it can be done. If you've got one of those uh, glue guns that always keep dripping and you hate it, but it's good for this stuff because it will uh, go more fluidly into the mold, into this uh, silicone. And I, I didn't have one <laughs> because I threw mine and now I have a good glue gun. So it took a, a, more time to do it and here it is. This is what I've done with the glue gun on this silicone trivet. It's going to be really nice to do it with some water lilies, I think. So that's uh, this. And I'm just going to show you some examples from other stuff I tried. Here is this one from this cookie mold or cupcake molds, whatever. Again, the most important thing is to have a really thick layer. When you don't have a thick layer, it doesn't go uh, out 
uh, so good from the uh, mold. Here it is, this one from here. I didn't put uh, enough material and that's what happened, but I'm going to use it nonetheless. It will only be uh, something so it, it would look distressed and I like it. Another uh, example here is the same from the same a cupcake whatever and this time I had a thicker layer and here it is it just went great this is from another a uh, trivet and this one is from this cake a uh, texture mold whatever I don't know what it is I just bought it in the cheap store at the baking aisle a long time ago usually I use it on my jelly plate to get some texture and I just uh, tried it same technique here is the result so you can make the same things without uh, something like the Samperia uh, silicone molds that can be found on Amazon I've checked and <laughs> they are on Amazon now before I forget, I want to share with you my recipe for a modeling paste. I do one cup of baby powder, one spoon glue, half a, half a cup of baby powder, one spoon uh, glue, one spoon white acrylic paint and water. Now there is no measure measurement for the water. I found out that um, each baby powder has a different consistency and I put water until I have a nice consistency of the whole modeling paste. If it's not smooth enough, I will add water. If it's smooth, I don't add water. Even acrylic paint has variations, so it just you just need to try and and see what works for you. But that's the basic recipe. So moving this aside and just wanted to show you several more options just so you go looking for them okay so here is another silicone trivet and here is this one i haven't tried it yet and just one more thing a silicone a coaster Another thing that I use a lot as a <laughs> on my jelly plate or as a stamp, but now I can also use it like a silicone mold. So lots of stuff to do and have fun with. I hope uh, the next video will be with this. And thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.